Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles and Minutes. The title of this video is Looking for What's Wrong, <laughs> Won't Make It Right. So um, we all have a mindset or a perspective, and depending upon how you were brought up in the world, um, to look for things when <clears throat> looking from the inside. Okay, And when you turn on the television and you watch the news, they don't show you Oh, people doing right in the world. <laughs> All the news is about people who did wrong in the world. And somehow by talking about what's wrong, not <laughs> everything gets better. <laughs> I haven't seen, and if we have so much news about what's wrong, and we keep talking about what's wrong, how come the world's not a better place? <laughs> it's not getting better, it's getting worse. By focusing on what's wrong, does it make things right? It doesn't fix anything. It's a stupid way of thinking about things. It's destructive. It's, it seems like if you found out what's wrong, that it fixes it. It doesn't. It doesn't fix it one iota. Not in healthcare either. A lot of doctors find what's wrong. Okay. So let me just go over the context of this. So I was, <laughs> there's a few girls I've dated like this, and not saying all girls um, and guys do it too. Um, but we'd be sitting there, and uh, we could just have a great day at the beach and be driving home. And all of a sudden, she starts thinking and puts on her thinking glasses of, "What's wrong? Like <laughs> nothing's wrong. <laughs> I'm driving. What's wrong? <laughs> nothing's wrong. <laughs> she could make a problem out of nothing. <laughs> like." And if she couldn't find anything in the current moment, she'd go back to something that happened three years ago, bring it to this moment, and talk about what's wrong, <laughs> trying to make a relationship better, like it solved anything. It didn't. It was destructive. And um, I told her, it's like, uh, there's nothing we can build here. Uh, I can't construct a relationship with you. It's also annoying as freaking shit that every time you look at me, you're picking me apart by looking for what's wrong. Um, sure, I'll never be thin enough. I'll never be pretty enough. I'll never be whatever enough. I'm not enough. And the sad thing is, I know when they look in the mirror, they're not looking for what's wonderful about them. They're looking for what's wrong with them. And it and it just beats up your self-esteem. So if, if you look for what's wrong, I can tell you this, you're probably beating yourself up. You're own, your own worst critic. You put yourself down all the time. How can you feel good about life if you're always looking for what's wrong? So one of the other jobs I have uh, that I do <clears throat> in um as I talk to patients and uh, you know do some consulting on some MRI stuff and and um, the patients talk about the MRI and you know you could have a, a lumbar spine MRI and someone could have multiple problems at multiple disc levels in their back you know like L1, L2, L3, L4 and there's a problem at every level okay and so the patient gets on the phone and blah 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 and we're talking and um, um, so anyway, if, they've, if they have the report, it's not always a good thing. I go, hi, Mrs. Jones, you know, what's going on? Oh, well, you know, blah, 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 and, you know, and I got, my doctor said, and I got herniated disc at L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. So I got that, and I said, well, what's your, what's going on? Well, I got herniated disc. That's what's wrong. Like, <laughs> that's a report. Um, so what's wrong? I got pain down my right leg. Where? It's in my butt. It's in, um, in the bottom of my foot. Okay. Uh, so then I look at the report and then match her symptoms to the report. If what most doctors, what some doctors do or parents do, and this is the metaphor I use, is um, <laughs> they treat the report and they don't treat the patient. And that's a bad idea. So if, uh, if you're a parent and you try to raise a perfect kid and try to make your kid perfect, you screw them up really good and they're in therapy the rest of their lives. <laughs> and maybe you're in therapy because your parents try to make you perfect. <laughs> don't, don't, don't make things perfect. So what I'm going to in this is when, when I look at the, read the MRI report, um, anytime you MRI or x-ray or do something on any patient, you'll always find something in there that's not perfect or something that doesn't look right or you may say looks wrong. Here's the thing. You can have something that doesn't look quite so right and be functional and it not be a problem. <laughs> Here's what happens. You go in there and try to fix that and it wasn't symptomatic. 
you screw someone you can screw someone's up uh, life up for good after that and they have chronic pain after that because you treat it the report and you treat it the images or you treat it what you see or what you thought was wrong and you operate on them <laughs> you mess them up really bad <laughs> real bad so the same and so you know doctors do that and patient and patients want here some patients even demand that you fix everything they see that's wrong on their MRI report or x-ray and some parents who look at their children and try to fix everything that doesn't look quite so right in their child you're gonna mess the kid up and you'll do that to yourself by looking for what's wrong doesn't make things right you've been doing it for a while let me know how it's working out for you or has it been destructive so the biblical narrative is this focus on what's right what's beautiful what's lovely what's what's to be admired what's to be appreciated see if you keep focusing on what's right or what's beautiful or what I could admire about you and what I appreciate about you it's funny there may be things not so good about you but I'm not focusing on the negatives I'm focusing on what's wonderful about you and the funny thing is the more you focus on what's wonderful about someone the more wonderful they become or you can focus on what's wrong and put your kid down and put your spouse down and your mate, your husband, and your child, or yourself. Or, or your husband can put you down. Huh, this sounds wonderful. Well, that's love, Dr. Wood. If I, that's why my parents did it to me. They always told me what I did wrong. And they loved me. <laughs> but today I'm in therapy. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It never has. Focusing on drowning doesn't help people swim focusing on what's wrong doesn't make things right and the news is full of negativity criticism slander ad hominem attacks ad hominem that means instead of talking about someone's idea you start talking about their personhood someone says this <laughs> well they're a crook <laughs> Wait a minute, we're talking about an idea. You change the subject matter, <laughs> you immature little shithead, and move the conversation off the idea. You know, because intelligent people talk about ideas. Ignorant people talk about people. <laughs> so you decide what category you want to fall into if you want to debate. We're talking about ideas. We can debate the idea, of whether or not it floats into something that's beautiful, something that's lovely, something that's constructive, something that would help people or not. When you go after the person that's very immature and probably says that you don't think highly of yourself and if you criticize other people most likely you criticize yourself, it's not loving. And I know people who um, ridicule other people and always pointing out what's wrong think that you're loving people maybe that's why your parents raised you or maybe your teachers talk to you but ask yourself do you feel better off I think if you focus on what's right and that, that could be a debate <laughs> but if you think focus on what's beautiful what's wonderful about you or what's 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 good about you um, what's good about your child what is it you do want to incentivize? What is it you do want to encourage? Encourage. See, if you focus on what's wrong, that's discourage. You knock the courage right out of somebody. You, 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 you assault their, their personhood. You damage their heart. You damage their emotions. Um, you don't encourage them to become their best self. You, you point out like, you know what, this is what I really appreciate about you. And this is what I see that's wonderful about you. And this is what I see what's right about you. This is what I see what's good about you. Don't you think this world would be a better place that way? I'm not saying lie to people either. You know, if someone's a thief, you might need to call them on that. <laughs> you know, but you can also see what's good about them. So that's the context of this conversation. Looking for wrong doesn't make right. Think about that. If every time you go to look at yourself in the mirror you look for what's wrong it's gonna be really hard for you to feel good about yourself do you call that love I don't if you look at yourself that way in the mirror about yourself the relationship you start out with with someone you love after a while if you criticize yourself if you're always looking for what's wrong with you you'll start looking for what's wrong with your wife or husband you'll look at what's wrong with your kids you look what's wrong with your teachers. You look what's wrong with their friends. You look for what's wrong in everybody. 
And if you watch the news, it encourages it. <laughs> it encourages you to be a complainer and um, a discouraging human being. That's not being loving. Let me know how that news story is working out. How many people have turned their lives around by focusing on what's wrong? I could tell you it's close to zero. If you focus on, it's like focusing on drowning. It doesn't teach people to swim. Focusing on what's wrong doesn't teach people how to do right. They just know that it's wrong. And that's it. If you focus on what's right, if you focus on swimming, we don't have to talk about drowning anymore now, do we? Because everybody can swim. The problem went away on its own. If you focus on what's wrong or the problem, <laughs> if you focus on problems, your life is full of problems. If you focus on solutions and focus on what's right and you focus on what's beautiful, your life is full of beauty, solutions, confidence, <laughs> and love. <laughs> focus on swimming. You can swim. If you focus on drowning, you're always drowning. If you focus on what's wrong, you find a lot of things wrong and you have a lot of problems. If you focus on what's right and solutions and love and what's beautiful, you have a lot of love, beauty, solutions, and fun. <laughs> Miserable? Hell. Focusing on what's wrong? Heaven. What's right? What's beautiful? What's lovely? What could be admired? What could be appreciated? What's great about you? You choose. Up to you. Dr. Wood.